Hey everybody, welcome to JM Motors Unlimited. Hope y'all are all doing good out there. I wanted to show y'all my 1981 Honda 185S I got. And ever since I got it about a year and a half ago, it's had this plastic gas tank on it. And it works good, except the cap leak, so you can only fill it up about halfway, but I just never got a new O-ring for it. But ever since I got the bike, I've wanted a metal gas tank. And I finally got one. I got a good deal. It was a package deal. A bunch of old Honda gas tanks that fit all kind of different bikes. Got a big red one in the back. And I got another one for this 200S I'm working on. But this one, it actually was the best gas tank out of all of them. It's in the best shape. And I have the cap for it right here. I was working on it. But this is the gas tank I got for it. I got a great deal on them with some other parts and you can see it's a little bit rusty it's kind of hard to see not very good light in there but it's got a little surface rust in it you can see it's kind of flaky stuff right there but way down in the bottom of it it's got some surface rust so I'm gonna show y'all how I clean that today and I'll let you know I've seen people do it like this I'm gonna let you know if it works or if it don't but as far as I know it doesn't leak so it's not rotted out or nothing but I'm just gonna be knocking the surface rust out of it today so what I'm gonna do is I've got some BB's just regular BB's that you would shoot in a BB gun and I'm gonna put some BB's down in it with a little bit of gas and shake it I don't know how long it'll take because I've never done it but I'm going to shake it and then I'm going to dump it out and get some new gas and put in it, rinse the BBs out and put some new gas in it and shake it some more and hopefully when I get done it'll be clean. So I'll let y'all know how that works. So it's several days later from the first, last part of this video whenever I was working on the gas tank on my 185S and I wasn't able to finish because I got busy and it rained and it's hard to make a video in the rain but this is the BBs and gas I dumped out of it it's really dirty and rust colored but it was deeper than that it's all dried up now because it's been a while but you can see the inside of the tank I've got gas in it and the inside of the tank is really clean that's the worst spot right there that you can see but I'm happy with the way it came out it's plenty good enough for me and it makes the bike look so good it looks ten times better than it did with that plastic tank it looks way more original but I'm happy with the way it came out and that's plenty good enough for me for this one I might do something a little bit different because it's really rusty but that's how you restore a metal tank that's not too bad and as long as it don't leak you're good to go so I've been riding around with this one and I'm very happy with the way it performs. It doesn't get suction on it and it just is perfect. It's made for the bike. That's how it's made to be and that it's made well. So 
Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please go check out my other videos. I have this 185S slash 200S I'm restoring. It's a 185 motor and everything. I'm putting in a 200S frame. I was originally planning on getting a 185S frame, and I thought this was a 185S frame. But then I figured out it was a 200S frame. But everything will bolt right up. So I'm going to put it in there and use the shock forks and everything. So it'll be pretty nice. I'm going to restore that tank and put on it. So you can keep up with that video, those videos on my YouTube channel. I may or may not have any up by the time you watch this. I know there's one up, but there may be more than that up by the time you watch this. And the 250SX, that's a parts bike I'm working on tearing down now. Because everything's bad except basically the frame and the forks. But I'm tearing that down from my 250SX I'm restoring. But this is my already restored, well semi-restored, not completely restored, just fixed up. 185S. And I'm going to keep doing videos on it. I got some other videos on it you can go check out. But pretty much everything I've done to this one, I'm going to be doing to those. So you can watch all that on my YouTube channel. And I try to do not only what I'm doing, but also how to do it. Like the gas tank. So, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you like it for more videos like this. And give it a thumbs up.